Hi everyone and welcome back to Sana's Garden. I hope you all are doing great and staying safe. So in this video, I am sharing the transformation of my back garden from this to this in the past couple of years. Well, to start with, it's an average sized garden about 8 by 8 meters. I'm not sure of the exact measurements. And we do have a side bit where we put the shed and all that boring stuff. So anyways, in the initial couple of years, I have avoided planting anything in the ground and uh, sticked only to container gardening as the ground was just too hard and the soil was full of rocks and construction rubble. I feel like the builders just laid the turfing on top of the construction rubble. So I said to myself that I'm never planting anything in the ground after shifting these lavenders and nandinas from my front garden bed to the back garden along the back fence and did i adhere to my decision no also on a side note please do excuse me for such a random and a shaky clips i tried to include as uh, as many as clips which can give the clear idea of the garden to some extent at that point of time at this point of time my container gardening was going on great as i was uh, learning and planting so much already and I started to get that itch to get onto planting in the garden and utilize that space mainly because I wanted to explore and expand and uh, you know do more. So I had this vision in my mind and I started to work along those lines. The first thing I did was move the lavender from the back fence to the patio uh, to along the patio and I also planted two boxwood spheres uh, where the patio enters to the garden. I planted the boxwood spheres right opposite to the patio doors which enter into my living room. And this brings us to the spring of 2020 and most of the changes have happened only during the last year. And this was my first or second time looking at the garden after uh, autumn and winter. The first thing I did was uh, tackling my Asiatic lilies. The garden was looking really bad. It was full of worm castings, overgrown grass and a lot of thatch. So these are all my Asiatic lilies which I had uh, divided and planted already. And these are all my chrysanthemums waiting to be cleaned. They already started to grow. I cut the grass and I raked my garden really well. So. All the thatch was gone and I was surprised at the amount of thatch and this was what I was left with. I uh, sprinkled a lot of sand and soil to improve the aeration of the garden. I was waiting on a lot of things at this time as it was the beginning of lockdown and everything was at standstill from the plant orders to the hardware store orders or any other supplies um, and even our builders as we wanted to fix the back fence uh, which was broken they couldn't even come to uh, build or fix anything as uh, the rules at that time uh, didn't allow for any construction or building to take place. Um, yeah we would want to start a project but something would be uh, causing one or the other delay but yeah we just uh, carried on with whatever we had and uh, yeah once the uh, wood uh, deliveries came in we started to build the raised bed but we had no plans yeah we were just waiting for the plans to arrive if I see the positives, uh, this gave me enough time to try and see what works for my garden and how I want the things to be. So I was very sure about one thing that uh, it needed some definition because as you can see in this clip right now, I feel like the garden is getting lost in itself. It does need some definition. And I also was assured that I want to change the color of the fence. It is a very loud and warm and doesn't give me that calming effect. I wanted to create a good amount of space for planting without losing a lot of lawn space. So I figured I will create a left and right corner bed only for the flowers uh, which will remain as the flower beds and the three sides uh, shall be for vegetable and fruit plantings. 
this is sometime during may giving you a kind of before of the garden so that's how we enter into the garden from my uh, patio doors and that's the lavender hedge this is the right corner flower bed This is the right corner flower bed of my garden. It has only flowering plants and mostly annuals. I have a separate video on the whole planting of this corner. I shall link the video down in the description and also uh, you can watch it here on the eye. And all the plants are discussed in detail and this bed turned out to be a really interesting flower bed. And this is my temporary uh, strawberry bed until the construction is uh, done and i have put the bro bricks here uh, to just uh, deter the squirrels and other animals and these are my tomatoes and peppers and this is the left corner of the garden which i have named as my red flower bed as it has all the plants with red blooms or a red something on them um, a couple of them have a red foliage it gives a really good and interesting look when everything is looking red so the, the detailed video will be linked in the description down below and also if you want you can uh, watch it by clicking the eye And this is again a temporary place for all my Asiatic lilies. Um, can you believe all this is only the bulblets from my harvest? That's just amazing uh, to see that all that is only my harvest. And that's all the chrysanthemums getting ready for the fall. So until all the plants arrive and the builders can start working, I had a couple of things to get done. I was working on improving the grass growth. There was a lot of work done uh, to get the grass looking good, a lot of raking, seeding, continuous watering and feeding with the grass food every two weeks. By the time we come to the end of this video, you can clearly see like how much the grass has grown. I mean, in the beginning of the season, there was literally no grass, everything was bare and hardly there was like five to ten percent of grass left on it and i have heavily seeded my uh, lawn and now it is completely uh, a different thing to me i sometimes i can't believe like i did that myself i had to harvest all the lavender and do a cut back on them so it's easier to remove them during the building work and also i had to remove all the asiatic lilies and safely plant them in containers so finally it was time for the fence to be fixed so rather than just fixing the wooden fence we decided to install this concrete fence so it can be more sturdy and also provide extra security so once this was done the next job on the list was to rip out the whole patio slabs and relay them because we needed to uh, get some spacing in between the two slabs and also there was some wear and tear over the couple of years so that means uh, we took out the whole lavender hedge once all the building work was done it was time to start planting everything and replant the lavender hedge again i must say they have been tortured a lot in my garden moved from place to place they were first in my front garden and then they came to the uh, back garden along the back fence 
and then they moved to the patio line and then they were removed for building work and now they were replanted again so this is how everything was looking after everything was done and then i did the the brick bordering to give some definition to the garden so as you can see the left and the right sides and the center uh, along the back fence will be for fruit and vegetable planting and the corners will be for flower beds the next big task was painting the whole fence gray just to match up the concrete i initially wanted to paint the fences gray anyways and by installing the concrete fence it was one less side to paint but i'm really happy with the color and how the green pops up in this gray color it is really nice so Along the right side of the garden I have completely dedicated that space for strawberry planting and on the left side I have done quite a bunch of vegetable planting with some salad and spinach and chilies and peppers, tomatoes and herbs and everything. So there is a separate video on it. By the time we finished all the tasks, uh, it was already the end of summer and there was no point in growing any vegetables along the fence at the back. So I just decided to grow some zinnias and some sunflowers along the fence for some instant color. And I think that was the best decision because it started to cool down and everything just came to a standstill. So this is my uh, corner flower bed which is very colorful. This is how it ended up in the almost the end of summer. And we also built a bird house. If you want to watch the video, I shall link it above. And that's my garden with the sunflowers. So this is how it was looking at the end of season in the September, October. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you all really enjoyed watching it and got some inspiration from it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.